The RAF's been using the paveway for since 2008. It can service most, you know, the vast majority of the RAF's potential target sets, and therefore it has become the overwhelmingly dominant strike weapon. Paveways cost around £30,000 each. There's four main parts. At the front is the guidance system. Here in the middle, a £500 warhead, which can penetrate concrete. And at the back, the tail section to guide the bomb to its target. Just in front of that is a smart fuse to control how it detonates. You can choose if you're attacking a building, but you want to leave one side of it standing. You can choose a lateral entry. So for example, program the weapon to come in from a particular angle. You can set things like air bursts, so it goes off in the air and shower shrapnel down, but doesn't penetrate anything. So how's the paveway guided to its target? Well, one way is GPS. The aircraft gives the weapon, um, when it's released, uh, target coordinates based on its own concept of where it is. In, in the case of GPS, much like your phone, uh, it's able to interface with the signal from GPS satellites and therefore fly itself to a very, very uh, accurate grid reference. The Paveway 4 is what's called a dual mode weapon, so it can also be guided onto its target using a laser. Either the aircraft that drops it or the uh, you know, a, a third party on the ground, let's say special forces with the designator, will fire a, a laser beam with a, with a code within it and the weapon will look for the reflected energy of that laser spot that's being projected onto the target and it will home in on that. As well as Typhoons, Paveway 4s are also carried by the UK's F-35 Lightnings. In stealth mode they carry them internally in the jet's bomb bay, a tried and tested munition that's the backbone of the RAF's arsenal. Simon Newton, Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.